Hello students, uh, today we are going to discuss about the edible vaccine. Edible vaccine means uh, the vaccine which we can eat to vaccinate by oral route, right? That's what the edible meaning is actually eatable or eat worthy, right? Edible vaccine. So uh, before going to the edible vaccine, we'll understand a little bit about the vaccine. What are the vaccines? Vaccines. A vaccine is a biological preparation that improves immunity to a particular disease. It is the one kind of biological preparation means there will be the organisms, there will be the microbial cells, there will be the different types of cells which will that improves the immunity to a particular disease right it will improve the immunity for the particular disease that's what for the particular vaccine is will be useful for the particular disease it contains killed microbes its toxins and one of its surface proteins it may contain any of the killed microbes the microbes which cause the disease that particular microorganism we are going to use or its toxins or its surface proteins right so this is the coming to the exact definition of the vaccine a disease antigen that stimulates the body to produce an antibody reaction but it is not strong to produce a disease harmful effects so vaccine is the disease antigen which stimulate the body to produce the antibody reaction for the particular antigen but the quantity of the antigen we are giving that is not strong not that much strong to produce the disease harmful effect it is just introducing the body defense system that these kinds of antigens may come in future and you are supposed to fight with them right you try to understand we are just introducing our defense system or immunity system to these kinds of pathogens may come to attack the body in future so that you have to be ready how to defend the body right coming to the edible vaccines here we are discussing edible vaccine in the edible vaccine transgenic plants are used we are using the plants as a vaccine production system right if the plant is the host body where we are uh, what you call producing the vaccines right the genes encoding antigens what the genes encoding antigens of bacteria and the viral pathogens can be expressed in plants can be expressed in plants in a form of in a form which they retain native immunogenic properties right they will be retain the native immunogenic properties right we have to introduce introduce what the bacterial and viral pathogens in the plant we are in the plants and they which they retain native immunogenic properties right then it will be later on it can be consumed by the particular person right coming to the what is the mechanism of action how it works so we will discuss little bit about that also the main goal of these kinds of vaccination that is nothing but to stimulate the mucosal and systemic immunity against the pathogen right we the, the goal is to stimulate the mucosal and systemic immunity power of the body to particular disease that we that we do in the every types of vaccine here when the the edible vaccine is taken orally because that's what i told you edible eat what edible so that will be the root is not going to be parental or something like that it is orally always right orally undergoes the mastication process or the chewing process or the size reduction of the particular uh, vaccine then degradation in intestine by the action of digestive and the bacterial enzymes present there right in intestine it is going to degrade then afterwards breakdown of the edible vaccine which has been taken by the oral route 
that is going to be the breakdown it which contains the follicles f o w -L, l i c a l e s follicles that acts as a site these follicles acts as a site from which the antigen penetrate intestinal epithelium right intestinal epithelium wherever the intestinal epithelium are there here if the follicle is acting as a site from which the antigen which is the what you call vaccine that is going to penetrate the intestinal epithelium and it is going to penetrating or inserting that uh, then comes in the contact of m cell right comes in the context of m cell after penetrating into the intestinal wall it is coming into the contact of m cell what is the role of this m cell m cells process antigen to the macrophages and the b cell beta cell these b cells activate t cells ultimately gold right these b cells activate t cells to provide immune response ultimately t cell is providing the immune response then immunity activated by the edible vaccine that last procedure the last step that is because of this edible vaccine the immunity is getting activated so this this root uh, this particular uh, antigen or vaccine is going and activating the immune system for the particular disease right coming to the developing and edible vaccine how we are going to develop in the plant right before going to inject it or before going to uh, administered it by the oral route the entire structural gene is inserted in the plant is inserted in the into the plant right what we are inserting gene right or dna right that is uh, inserting into the plant transformation vector plant transformation vector between five apostrophe and three apostrophe five regulatory elements right here in between these five and the three regulatory element it has to be inserted this is allow the transcription and the accumulation of encoding sequence in plant right so by doing this what happened the particular vaccine it is getting developed inside the plant right the particular vaccine it is going to develop inside the plant then why how we have to do is the method for the transformation of dna or gene into the plant there are three types of method which we can adopt to insertion the plasmid vector carrier system right here the plasmid is going to be the plasmid vector is going to be the carrier system and the second one is the micro projectile bombardment method right micro projectile bombardment method the third one is the electro Operation method, right? This is the three method where the genetic material or gene can be inserted into the plant, and uh, later on it can be developed the proper antigen, which we can use by the eating for the oral route, and uh, by uh, by eating of this oral route, the this antigen will initiate to production of the antibody by the body, right? So that antigen antibody reaction takes place and the uh, the immune response will be there for the particular disease and disorder right coming to the plants used for the edible vaccine what are the plants where we can insert the dna and the genetic material to produce the edible vaccines so the first one is the tobacco plant potato banana fruit plant tomato rice plant soya bean musk melon carrot wheat and the corn these are the eatable or eat worthy plant which we are using generally for the food purpose where we can develop the particular antigen that is that will be the edible vaccine can be used by oral route and it is going to produce the antibody into the body and the immune response will activate right so here i have given you the uh, uh, basic themes and the, and the form of the mechanism of action and the insertion of the genetic material and what are the plants we can use right further you can uh, refer the other source of the information for the deep knowledge okay thank you all the best